You might know about HTML commenting, which allows me to leave notes or remove areas of a page using HTML. Well, I can do the same thing with CSS. We have CSS based commenting as well. And these are fantastic. Let me give you a whole pile of examples of where you might want to use this. Maybe right up at the very top of styles.css, I want to leave some kind of a message either for myself or for other designers to let them know when this style sheet was created or when it was last modified, you know, this sort of thing. So to create a CSS comment, what I'm going to do is insert the commenting open tag, which is very different from an HTML comment tag, by the way. How it works here in CSS is we're going to go forward slash asterisks, just like that. And then you can either throw in a space or not throw in a space and then throw in some kind of a note. I'm going to type in created by Jeff Blake in March of 2012, something like that. Right. And then what I'll do is I'll close out the comment by basically doing the reverse. I'm going to go asterisk forward slash just like that. But notice that all of my code was green and then it all came back to life there. That's because anything in Coda anyway that resides inside a comment appears green. Some nice color coding to help me out here. And of course, these comments are not going to show up anywhere inside the web browser. These are used only inside the code. So if I save and refresh my browser, I don't see anything related to, you know, Jeff Styles or March 2012 or anything like that. What other sorts of things might I wish to include inside commenting? Well, sometimes what I'll do is I'll use comments to help me organize my rules. For instance, I might do something like this, forward slash asterisk, and then I might type in utility space and then asterisk forward slash. And then what I would do, I'm treating this almost like a structural heading. Underneath that heading, I'm going to have all of the CSS rules that I'm treating as utility. So bold is going to be utility, emphasis, maybe not deleted. I'm going to give myself a little bit of space here. I might have a few others in there, just kind of scrolling down here, perhaps my links. So I'll grab all of my links there and cut them, move them up underneath utility, maybe something like that. And do we have any others kind of kicking around? Not really. Okay, maybe my button I could throw in there, something like that, grab that guy and then drop him into utility. Or sometimes I'll have some extra ones, you know, rules that I'm going to use all the time, right, over and over and over again. And then after that, I might have another heading, maybe leave myself a little bit of space and then forward slash asterisk. And then I might do body content formatting. There we go. Asterisk forward slash. And then any rule that helps me format body content, I would then throw in there. Maybe starting off, again, I'm thinking structurally, with things like body and paragraph and headings, things like that, right? So maybe something like that. There we go. And then below that, I might have a few others, maybe, you know, list formatting or however you want to organize yourself. And once again, all of these comments are not going to show up inside your browser. These are inside the style sheet only. What's cool about these guys is you can use them inside an external style sheet like styles.css or even inside layout.css. And by the way, a quick side note, something else comes to mind. I might have a comment like maybe explaining why I did something. I put a border onto this rule because, you know, to remind myself why I did something. And then of course, I'm going to close out of that comment just like that. So you can put them in line as well, if you wish. So I can use these comments within an external style sheet, but I can also use them within an internal style sheet as well. So if I so happen to have a page that also has an internal style sheet, I could throw in some notes in there as well. So there you go. There's your CSS commenting.